Hi friends, I'm Wani and welcome to Wani's house and welcome to day 13 of vlogs. Today we are going to just think about fall. Guys, today it was 100 degrees in Atlanta and it really had me yearning for fall. So as I was driving in, I began to look at the the scenery and you begin to see like some of the leaves beginning to turn brown and that just brought on like this really really like light and airy feeling over me and I thought why not talk about um transitioning into fall things that I use around my house to transition into the seasons now this is going to be a really small haul but I went around and I picked up some things that I had um, and some things that I purchased recently that I am going to be using to transition my home into um, into fall. So now although it is still August, by next month, I that is when I generally get into the swing of things because I correlate school starting and Labor Day to fall. So. A lot of things for fall related you will see going up around then. But there are some things that I will actually take away and I do that every year. So let's begin with scents. The first thing that I do to begin to transition into fall is I take away like my really bright and loud smelling candles like my Marg um, what's that? My Island Margarita, as well as my Rosemary Mints. I put those up and I bring out something like my favorite and I talk about it every year. And I'm going to mention it again this year because um, I picked up several last year so that your girl won't be running short when she begins her transition. And that is Leaves from Bath and Body Works. Guys, this is fall in a jar you smell the like the granny smith apples you smell some cinnamon in there you smell some nutmeg and the throw on this candle is unbelievable so i have one that's like this and then i have another one that has the leaves on it then i have another one that is orange this is my all-time favorite fall candle and if any candle can get me in the mood for fall it is this one now another candle that I have that I love is um, Spice Cinnamon Pumpkin. This one is nice too. Now this one isn't from Bath and Body Works. I think this one came from, it may have come from Home Goods or somewhere, but it, it's from Hamilton Homes and it smells just like that Spice Cinnamon Pumpkin. It smells really great. Will be great for the months of October. Um, going, you know, going to Halloween into um, Christmas when we begin to use more um, spices like cinnamon and nutmeg and things like that. So, yes, this is a must also. Also, I bring out my hand wash and this is one that I had from last year and it's crisp morning air and you see it has the leaf on here. So this is a fall scent. And just to transition, this smells so good, transition my hand soaps into something more festive with the season. And um, like when you wash your hand, the aroma that comes up from um, when the water and the soap um, meets is amazing. And you walk away with like really nice, fresh smelling hands. Now this came from Bath and Body Works also during... Um, the season, they generally have these on sale. You can get them for like $2.95. Well, so when that sale comes up, I pick these up. So I will transition those. And I will also begin to transition out my candle holders. Now, Pier 1, a couple of weeks ago, they, and actually it is still going on, they have 25% off their clearance items. So they're trying to get rid of all of the clearance items so they can bring in more of their um, fall items and so I picked up two of these 
beautiful candle holders here and I love the design on these now these were three dollars and 48 cents and then I got 25% off and that took off oh it was 40% off and that took off two dollars and seventy six cents and then I got an additional 25% off of that so and that took off like a dollar and some change so that was really good for two candle um holders and when the um flicker the light flickers through here it is so pretty and what i love about it is that the inside is gold now the outside is a dark brown color but it almost looks black so it will look great in my home now i tried to see if my Oh, this one worked. Some of my Bath and Body Works candles did not work in here, but this one actually does. So I can use this in here. That's good. I tried another one and it did not work, but it did work on my Pier One three wick candles as well. So I will begin to transition these out also um, for things, so especially like the ones in my bathroom these will more than likely go into my bathroom area and just to see that design flicker off the walls and on the ceiling would be so um nice and very very common and romantic especially if you're like taking a bath yeah okay now and we're still talking about scents and so also from bath and body works I, I love to have wallflowers and I have several different types of wallflowers here. I don't know what that one is, but I have this one in leaves, of course. If I have the candle, I must have the wallflower. And then I have the, wall, the white caramel cold brew. Now this is perfect because in the fall, that is when they release all of their fall coffees at Starbucks. And if you have a QT, they have this um, pumpkin spice coffee that is out of this freaking world. And, and so does, um, I think Dunkin' Donuts does too. But I know QT has one and it is like uh, half the price of the one at Starbucks. But Starbucks also releases their fall um, coffees. That is one way I transition into fall because I'll begin to stop and get my fall coffee. Especially, if, you know, every once in a while I will go to Starbucks um, to get that coffee. But majority of the time I will stop at my local QT. So I have the wildflowers. And then I also have my stock of the... um. The home fresheners, the room sprays. Now this was in pecan, let me see, it was a pumpkin pecan waffles. And this, when you spray this, guys, people always think that you are like making some type of dessert or you're cooking breakfast. I um, sprayed this one time and Mr. B, he knew I was making breakfast. And actually, um, Kimberly's husband, he said that she was burning a candle and it was pumpkin pecan waffles and the whole family thought that she was throwing down in the kitchen and it was a freaking candle. So that Bath and Body Works candle for that is amazing. And then I also have leaves again. I told you leaves is my favorite. I have several different kinds of um, room sprays. I have the um, Spice Apple Toddy for the winter. I also have Tis the Season for the winter around Christmas time. I have Cranberry Woods. That's more of a winter fragrance. For Mr. B, I have Mahogany Teak Wood. And let's see what else I have. I have the uh, Lemonada, Lemonada for the spring. And you saw that one. So I think that's all that I have right now of those. But I love those. And when Bath & Body Works has those for $2.95. I think they're regularly $6. I get those also. And you just spray them in your room. You know, and the, 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 the throw really lingers. So it's nothing that you have to spray a lot. Now these, 
They are very, very concentrated, so you might need to spray in one corner, go to the other side of the room, spray another corner, because if you spray a lot, it's going to choke you. So just one squirt is all you need, and it, it just really bellows in the room. Okay, so another thing, um, something else that I do to transition from one season to another is I change out some of my florals. Now, I love the peonies and the roses and things like that. But during the fall time, we need to pull out more of our um, flowers such as like magnolias, um, sunflowers, um, things like that. So you can also get some faux um, flowers here. These came from Michaels and actually these are on clearance and I picked them up because of these flowers here. I like the greenery in it and the fact that it has cotton in it. Um, not that I use a lot of cotton, but cotton to me is something that you would use for the cooler months. So um, change out your florals in your home. Put out more of like your evergreen flowers. Um, you, can, you can still use your ter uh, terrariums with your flowers like, like your succulents, but use more flowers that are more beefier and um, for the um, fall times of the year. Now another thing that I like to do around fall to transition um, for the season, I like to change my fragrances. So several uh, my favorite, my fragrance that I um, got is the from Scentbirds, and I told you about Scentbird. It's a monthly subscription. You pay fourteen ninety five, and they send you um, a thirty day supply of a scent. You can choose your scent every month, and um, actually, I received this Tom Ford several months ago, and I like it. But to me, this is more of a um, fall winter scent. It, is, it has a really nice musky um, scent and so this would be perfect I think for my body chemistry for um, the upcoming cooler months. Now another one that um, I just recently picked up from Scentbird that they sent me and it was the Dolce & Gabbana the one this is definitely a fall scent, guys. It, it has a freshness, but it has like a heaviness too. And I tried it on um, yesterday, and I got a lot of compliments with me wearing it. But this is one of those scents that I know that I will be rocking in the upcoming season. Now, Scentbird is a great way for you to try different fragrances. Before you go out and you spend that money, you can try to see how it works with your body chemistry because like I always say, what works for me may not work for you and what smells good on you may not smell good on me. So it's a great way to try, um, try the fragrance. Now, last month when I received my Scentbird um, sampler, um, it was halfway full and so it was really easy I um, took a picture a screenshot of my um, half full container emailed it to them and they had me another um, valve in the mail in like in a couple of days so I think about three days I had it and so and like I said it gives this is what it looks like this is Dolce and Gabbana the one and it has notes of vanilla peach lily Leche and musk. I told you I smelled musk. Really, really nice fragrance. So this will be another way that I will transition into fall. So, um, well, also something else that I've been doing. I've been getting all of my catalogs here. And this one, of course, is from Ballard Designs. And I told you guys, I love looking through the catalogs for inspiration and design and style ideas. And as I was thumbing through this um, catalog, one thing that I noticed is what I told you guys before is that you will begin to see a lot of black and home decor. I mentioned this to you guys last year. I was definitely before trend on that. And, um, as you know, I am implementing more black into my home. 
but what I wanted to show you was you know even in these catalogs they set up the spaces for the seasons and they had this really pretty tablescape so I like you know getting like ideas and things like that from catalogs and different um, home staging sites as well as like go doing home tours and you will get a, a plethora of ideas and inspiration and there are things that are simple that you can implement in your home and so that is one reason why I subscribe to these catalogs simply because of that look at this look at that isn't that beautiful with those black lamps and the black wall now that is making a bold statement with those um, with the black walls but I love those lamps now I wanted to show you this this picture and I guess I should have folded the page back but it was just a tablescape and oh here it is right here so this is the tablescape here and it's just it's just simple but it just has like the orange and the black and you see how they and it made it look very neutral and you see the pumpkins just placed on the table it's very simple very neutral I like the the mirrors here in the background so it just gives you a lot of ideas and they how they put the how especially this one right here you guys know how I love to entertain but look how they set that up you have your cake in the dome you have your um, nuts and your cheeses here and your wine and then you have fruit here it is set up very very nicely so this is another thing that really helps me transition into um, the next season and into fall because you know you can get a lot of ideas like I said and you can this is also a great time if you have like lighter um, curtains in your home it's time for you to put up like your darker curtains to and heavier curtains to keep in some of the insulation because in the in the um, spring and summertime we want everything to be very airy and light. But in the fall and winter times, when especially when the temperature begins to um to lower, we really need to keep all that heat in. So having those heavier um, fabrics are perfect and once again these types of magazines gives you ideas of, of various types of um, curtains and patterns and things like that so the last thing that I wanted to share with you guys is I also transition and get more um, my cleaning supplies and so and then I want to share with you quickly what I got in this month's Grove Collaborative order. This month for Grove Collaborative, they introduced a new fragrance. And um, I am going to try it. So this month, they this um, fragrance is the Comparison Flower. And is this ever wonder what comparison smells like? This multi-surface cleaner has a sweet floral notes like the scent of our of our one of a kind comparison flower, a hybrid of a pansy, meaning so meaning to think of and a spreading vita to help grow kindness guys I need glasses excuse me I need glasses so let me tell you what this smells like oh it's really it's really light but it smells so good and fresh so this is compassion flower and it's a limited limited edition scent and it's by Mrs. Myer, Mrs. Myers clean day and this is I picked up the multi surface cleaner and it was in a set I also picked up the room freshener here let's see oh that smells good oh yeah that smells really good 
Yes. Picked up the room freshener and I also got the hand soap. So, just to transition again, this will go into that for the fall. And then I also picked up the basil scent. Now, I love the mint scent that they had um, about two months ago. I wanted to get some more and they did not have it. So, I picked up the basil and I wanted to see what this one smelled like. Oh, this smells nice too. Oh, this is really nice. Never smelt that before. And this is the multi-surface cleaner for that. So, I have that. And then I also picked up the dish soap to go with that. And so I did not get a dish soap of this one. Hmm. Well, I think in my next order, I am going to request it. But so these are what I got for this month. And if you're interested in a Grove um, subscription, I will leave all the information be um, below. I'll leave a link. And if... I think if you, if, if you sign up, you get, and you spend $19, you get like a free gift. And it's usually like the cleaning um, bucket. And then you'll receive your um, choice of the cleaner, the hand soap, and the dish soap. And it might be a towel or something else. But it'll tell you what you'll get. So I'll leave all of that information in the description box also so guys that's it that's all i have to share with you guys today so i think out of everything that i've shared with you today i think i'm ready to transition into fall the only thing i need to cooperate now is the weather we'll see tomorrow will probably be another 100 degree day i cannot wait for fall so guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. If you are new to Wani's house, I would love for you to subscribe. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you won't miss any of my upcoming uploads. Also, let me know what do you do to your home to transition into the next season. Um, I'm really interested if there are some other things that I may have forgotten. Like you might take off the lighter... Um, comforter on your bed and put a little heavier comforter you might not sleep now with a comforter maybe you just have a bed spread you know I, i'm just really interested to know what do you do to transition into fall one other thing during the fall time we're also going to fall back so we will have shorter days and we'll get more we get less daylight Whatever it is, I get to stay in the bed longer. So I am definitely looking forward to that. So guys, I'm going to end this video. But before I go, you know what I always say. The next time you're in town, you can always stop by Wani's house. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.